Hello friends! I'm traveling to New Mexico for the holiday to see my parents' new house and hang out in the desert for a while and hopefully do just a ton of painting. And uh, right now I'm pretty stressed out about laundry. We're leaving in two days. I know everything's gonna get done and it's gonna be fine, but it's like I only have a few hours left of functional time to prepare. <laughs> so of course I'm making a video where you can see me pack my Anello backpack, my wonderfully yellow backpack. This guy is named Lando, it seemed appropriate. And the very first thing that's gonna go in there is a tote bag. This is a Bagu tote bag, and this is not a color that they sell. I actually dyed it. It was originally the same color as this stitching. It was sort of their mushroom or camel color. So that's going in there, so I have something to take out and put my stuff in when we go on day trips. right into the bottom. I love almost everything about the Anello. I just wish it was a little bit larger. But I'm not bringing my laptop with me, so it's not a big deal right now. Tote bag's in there. And the next item You've seen my Delphonics in a previous video. There's an extra little keychain on there, which I'm sure I'm going to need while traveling at Christmas. Sorry for the swears. This channel is now PG-13. Uh, this is going to hold all of my art supplies. So I have a little moleskin sketchbook. I've got a book light. I've got a backup drive for my phone. I've got extra ink all going in there. You've already seen this as well. Just a couple of changes to the inside. I have switched back from a fountain pen to the Fabric Castell Pit Pen Extra Small. It just has been working better in my sketches and I've been enjoying it a lot more. The brushes that I am bringing are my two silver black velvets size 8 and size 2, my two Escoda Reservas, size 12 and size 6, and an Escoda Versatile, which is their synthetic blend. This is also a size 2. It's a nice long one though. I really like it. And a Rosemary & Co. Travel Dagger. Rosemary and Company Travel Dagger that uh, is one of the drier brushes I've ever used. It just does not hold a lot of water, but it's really grown on me. I didn't like it at all at first and kind of like it a lot now. Those will be my brushes for the trip. I am also bringing along that chisel water brush I showed you in a previous video as well. And that's what I'm probably going to use mostly on the plane just so I don't have to get out a bunch of water and deal with all of that business. Alright, into the pack it goes. I'm bringing a strap for my Delphonics just in case I decide that I want to take that out by itself. That's a great use for this back pocket. Yeah, nice, nice. A couple things that I don't usually carry around with me. One is my porcelain palette, which I just don't think I'm going to be able to go four days without it. So it's not huge, and I would normally be nervous about bringing it in case it breaks, but these things are so cheap and you can find them literally anywhere. Hobby Lobby carries them, Michaels carries them, any art supply store carries them. So I don't think I'll have any problems with that. And then the next thing 
these little bottles. These are salad dressing bottles by OXO, 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 however you say it. You can tell which one I've used for rinse water and which one I've used for clean water because they get very stained. But the cool thing is that they collapse almost completely into their own caps. Super compact for travel and that is awesome. And then the other cool thing is I designed something to hold them both. And my dad cut it on his laser cutter out of some acrylic, probably difficult to see. It's got two large holes and two little holes. And the cups fit perfectly at the waist inside of those holes. So if I do have to get this out on a plane, it makes me feel a little more secure that they're not just going to fall over if we hit the slightest bit of turbulence. There's a little more stability because of that holder. But it also just collapses down, fits right into my kit. Should be everything for the kit itself. Inside the pockets of my Anello, I have a few band-aids. I'm traveling with a kid, and frankly, traveling with myself. Got my ibuprofen and lip balm. Always very important. Next up, another item you've seen before. My traveler's notebook, which fits just perfectly in the Anello's front pocket and makes it so convenient for carrying boarding passes and anything else that slips into the traveler's notebook. Snug as a bug in a rug. For paper, I'm bringing a few things. I picked up this Arches block, which looks intriguing and is also almost the right size to slip into a traveler's notebook. This is 3.9 inches by 9.8 inches, so it's a couple inches longer than the traveler's notebook paper, but I figure if I have a sketch I really like and want to keep in there, I can just cut it down if I need to. And that is 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. I've used Arches a lot before, I really like it. And then my favorite postcard size paper is fluid watercolor paper. This is also cold press and also 140 pounds. Both of these are blocks. This block is bound on two edges. I'll show you at any minute. So it's got glue along the long edges and the arches block, I'm told, is glued on all the edges and has a tiny gap for you to fit a knife in or a fingernail, which is probably what I'll be using to get it unglued. Also bringing my favorite super cheap paper, which will probably star in another video very soon. This is watercolor sketch paper from a shop called Five Below, and uh, it, we don't have one here. It's actually off in Kansas City, and I have to drive three hours to get there. But this paper is really nice, and it actually takes watercolor really, really well. And uh, I like to use it for anything rough. It does have a warm bias to it, a warm tint, so I don't. I think it's a super great neutral white, but it is super great for just daily purposes. I could fit an entire pad of 100 sheets in here and still have room for all my other stuff, but instead I'm going to tear some out and fold it up. That's probably what I'll use most on the plane. And I may take a whole pad with me in our rolling luggage just to have it while I'm there. Not done with you, Delphonics. Hmm. Hmm. Did 
dilemma. Yep, that's the fun of packing on camera. Hmm. I know what I'll do. I will cut this down to traveler's notebook size and I'll actually keep it in my art journal insert in my traveler's notebook. That's how I'll do it. Good job, me. Next up, my Sennheiser headphones. My husband ordered these by mistake. He got wired ones when he wanted wireless Bluetooth ones. So he gave these to me for an early Christmas present. And they are fantastic. Super great for being on a plane. Just block out all that noise. I've got a canvas makeup pouch that I will eventually gesso and paint. But for now it's just blank and I keep all of my electronic accessories in here. So cables, charging stuff, backup battery, and a charging port for USB things, extra zinc paper, and lenses for my camera. I've got a fisheye, wide angle macro, and a super zoom lens. That is super fun. If you follow me on Instagram, that's how I take pictures of the crows that I feed in my driveway. getting stuffed. Still opens and closes though. I love the rigid zipper mouth, jar, jar top I think is the term for this kind of backpack because it makes it so easy to open it up and reach in and get things, but it does also cut down on the total capacity. So it's a thing to keep in mind and it's also the reason that I can't bring my laptop in here. Which is fine. I don't need to. I don't need that. I'm not going to be uploading any YouTube videos while I'm there. I'm also not bringing my video camera that's taking this video. I'll just get footage on my phone. I need to clear off some space on that. What I am bringing is my HP Sprocket. It's so pretty. In its lovely case with an extra cable and extra paper. I have dropped it inside of the case and it does work really, really well. Would not have survived that drop without the case on it. Folding selfie stick that also has a tripod bottom to it. It's gonna be very, very useful. And passports, this one's my daughter's. I have taken the passport wallet insert to a traveler's notebook. I got this insert on AliExpress and I added some holes and some elastic. So it is now a traveler's notebook too. And right now I just keep my passport in there. We are going to hop down below the border while we're in New Mexico and spend a day around Palomas. And that's gonna be super fun. I'm really looking forward to it. My kid has never been out of the country before. So we had to get her passport. Let's see. I feel like this would be best traveling inside my Delphonics, just so it doesn't get strewn about. Ah uh, yeah, nice and smooth all the way across. And that is one stuffed little backpack. I still have room in the side pockets for a bottle of water, which I'll just buy when I get to the airport. I never travel with my own water bottles because I just know that I'm going to forget to empty them before we get to the airport and the TSA is going to be like, oh, what are you trying to pull? Uh, the cool thing about the Anello backpack is if I do need something and I don't want to tear open that jar top and root around in everywhere, it has this side zipper that goes directly in and you can see my Delphonics is right there. Very accessible. My paper and my electronics pouch are all in easy reach thanks to that without disrupting all of the stuff on top of them. It's just good design. I don't know. Do you think I have enough stuff? I, I, I really don't know. I don't know.
it's gonna be a great trip. I can't wait to get a little bit of footage on my phone and make a lot of artwork and show you when I get back. Thanks for watching.